took a lunch break, y'all. I had to go to the beauty supply store. And then I'm going to get the kids a pizza. Because I told them this week here, they last week with me, I am not cooking. Girl, I be tired, okay? So I did purchase me two more of these oils, girl. This one here is called uh, My Life by Mary J. Blige. I don't think she sell perfume, but um, I think they just, you know how it is. So I got this. And it smells really good, y'all. It smells really good. Mm, this one here smells real, real good. And then I got my auntie, Patty LaBelle. I love her. And so I'm sure this one, mm -hmm, this one smells good too. Real, real good. Oh, try look. Both of them smell good. So I picked these two up. Yes. And then I had to buy some shampoo and conditioner. I ain't nothing fancy about that. So then I went to Publix. I played. I bought me two um, scratch offs and I got the kids some juice. They had them. Um, buy one, get one free. And so I'm about to go and get me a drink from the coffee shop. Um, and then I'm going to stop on the way back and get them a pizza. Change my hair color. And I'm not feeling it. I am not feeling it at all. I don't know, y'all. I, I used to love me a burgundy, a good old burgundy hair color. Now, it's just not my thing. Give me black. Give me black. And I like just black. Fusion from Scooters. Girl, I need a little pick me up. Now let me call my cousin back because she was giving me the tea on y'all. I don't know what it is with people. I, I really don't know what it is with people, girl. But you know what? It's my fault because I didn't pray before I left the house. So y'all, I went back to Aldi's to get a few items and I was looking for those prebiotic drinks that I had showed y'all on the last vlog. Girl, why they have none? I went to two Aldi's, as a matter of fact. And the second Aldi that I went to, they only had one. Uh-huh. Girl, I was too mad. But that's okay. That's okay. I'm going to probably go to this other Aldi. It's, it's two more Aldi. They got like a total of about maybe five or six. I think it's like five Aldi's here in Greenville. So I'm going to go to um the other one in Cherrydale. And then I'm going to go to the other one. If they don't have them, then I'm going to go to the other one in, the, in downtown. Girl, when I tell downtown? you, yeah, near downtown, yeah. When I tell you, these things are so good, y'all. And I love Olipop. Like, I'm an Olipop girl. But these, girl, these are really good. And they're good for your gut health. So that's I even better. Them. So, anyway, y'all. Y'all. Oh, my goodness. I'm in love. That is so cute. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Y'all, I'm on my way to Summer Moon to grab me a cup of coffee. And I'm so proud of myself, y'all. I really have to give myself a huge clap on the back because during the week, I don't buy coffee. I don't buy takeout. I don't buy none of that stuff. I really be at home. There's days where I don't even have coffee. I don't have tea. And when I have my tea, I'm starting to have it without any honey, just straight tea during the week. And I'll drink a cup of coffee. If it, if I don't drink it down before it gets cold or warm, then I won't even drink it. I won't even pour me another cup. So I've been, do, I've been doing like really, really good. I've been doing like really, really good, you guys. Like I really, I've been doing really, really good. I'm really proud of myself. Um, hold on, y'all. Hold on, cause my GPS then went out. Y'all, I think I like this location better than the first one that I went to. I really like this one. This location is downtown, well, close to downtown, and I don't know. It just seems like. The people as well as the staff is a whole lot more friend friendlier and it seems to be more laid back so I, I think this one here would be the one mm, that I come to so 
I got my mm, yeah I got my ice matcha moon latte and I got it in a 16 ounce and it was it's so good she didn't put that much ice mm. Mm. it's real good. it's really good it's real good y'all so I got my matcha I gotta go buy on um, the store I gotta go pay a bill right quick and then I gotta go by the store and um and this little area here is so cool y'all it is so cool around here I really like it I really really do Hey y'all, so I stopped and got me a Bojangles biscuit. And I'm thinking these things gonna be real, real tiny. But they're kind of big. And they had them two for five. And I don't need two, but I bought two. And um, let's see what they give giving. These are the blueberry biscuits with a sausage. I typically don't like nothing on my sauce on my biscuits. No egg, no jelly, no nothing. I just like them plain. So here's the biscuit. It looks like you got more bread than anything. So let me try to see how it tastes. Mm. Hmm. Good. These are really good. Wow. guys made it out of all these grab another bag of um taki salamari which i told them that's it i'm not buying them all them things with all that orange freaking flavor in there and then i picked this up this was five dollars i thought this was so cute y'all i just was saying i needed some some more sticky notes because now that we don't work out of the office we have to buy our own stuff now. So, I was like, I need some stickies. But anyway, it has a um, planner. It has sticky notes. And it has clips. And this was only $5. So, I thought that was really nice. And then, y'all, I ended up finding just two of these. Just two. Girl, now you know I grabbed them. I told the lady, the cashier, I said, I, this is my third. All these I'd have been to. And I'd have found only two of these so these must be popular people are loving these they, they i'm glad people buying them because that lets these people know that they're good and they're in demand so the next time i see them girl i'm about I'm, I'm gonna stack up as many of them as i can and then um i've tasted this this one before but not this brand not this flavor put it like that and it's not bad it's not bad it's not as good as the other one it's made by the same company. It's not as good as the other one, but it, it's okay. I can tolerate it, being that it's good for your gut health. So, and this one is a pro. This one is a probiotic. Okay, you see the difference. This one is a prebiotic. This one is. It's going to clean cleanse your gut health. And this one is a probiotic, meaning it's going to put good things in your gut. Like, it's it's prebiotic is to cleanse your gut. Probiotic is to replenish your gut. If that makes sense. <laughs> I follow this young lady on YouTube. She lost, oh my God, she lost so much weight. Like, and most of her weight, she carried it around her belly. Like, her belly was huge. Like, literally, that girl looked like she was about... And this ain't no shade to her, because she put the pictures up. She looked like she was maybe seven months pregnant, for real. She, her stomach was huge. And she said that how she lost the weight is she focused on her gut health. So, she would she would, she would, would go into... You know, she explained the difference between prebiotic and probiotics, which I didn't know. She schooled me on that. And then, um, she said she was she would just focus on cleansing cleansing out her gut just eating stuff and drinking things that cleansed her gut and then she would focus on a probiotic things that nourished her gut you get what i'm saying 
so um yeah she's really good if i find that video i'll link it down below for you guys to check her out because she and that's her channel is that's just her niche is losing weight and what she eats and this and that and let me tell you something she be dropping some gems so but anyway you guys um i'm about to go to tj maxx right quick i need to get a boiling pot with my cheap self when i first moved up here i didn't buy i bought two pots no i bought one pot because a lot of the stuff that i make is usually so it was just me so i could just make something or i bake it or whatever then when the kids came i went about a walk like a little walk pot because they love that trader joe's rice so i just make that up for them and which i need to get them more of that and then um but now i need i've been saying i needed a boiling pot so i know i can get one for under 20 dollars at tj maxx a good one so I'm about to go to TJ Maxx. That's near the house. And then I need to get a comforter so I could throw that one I got away. It was holding up fine, y'all. But as soon as I washed it and dried it, it has not been the same. It's not as soft anymore. It's it's just not it's just not it. It's, and also, I don't know if y'all experienced y'all comforters getting that little beady, beady look. Like it's like a little it feel beady on my and I've had that issue with all my blankets. I don't know why. When it get like that, I'd be ready to just throw the whole blanket away. The whole one and start new. So, I'm about to go to TJ Maxx. But first, I need to go pay a bill. Once I pay that bill, then I go to TJ Maxx. Shami should be either at the house or on her way. Because she will be uh, washing Anari's hair today. And then they're having like a outside water day with the kids and stuff today. So, the kids will be gone for the majority of the day. Um, I'm going to go in there. I'm going to clean. I'm going to probably clean today. Take my time and clean. I need to, um, organize my closet because, girl, I need to, I just need to do a lot of organization, I know, a lot of organizing and cleaning and stuff like that. So anyway, let me get off of here because y'all know I could talk. Okay. So let me get off here. Um. Also, y'all, make sure y'all follow my sister. She we're the, we just we're real sisters, same mama, same daddy, everything. Her name is absolutely Yana. I believe it's I pop it up her username there. Go follow her. She have very good videos. Her 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 content is really good. Her YouTube channel is really good. Um, she does reels. She does vlogs. Go check out some of her old um travel vlogs. They are really good, y'all. So, and I'm not just saying that because she's my she's my sister. I'm saying it because it's true. Um, so go check her out. Go show her some love and some support. And also, you guys, if this content is if you like my videos, only if you like them now, only if you like them, please subscribe. Consider subscribing and please hit the like button. When you hit the like button on 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 YouTube channels and people who do YouTube's, it helps get their video pushed out there. Otherwise. We making content for nothing if nobody is supporting it or watching it or liking it or you know what I'm saying? So just it only takes you a second to just hit that like button if you like the content. And um yeah, thank you for your support. I appreciate that. Um yeah, so I'll talk to y'all in a minute. If you one of them type of people that like to get out and explore and see stuff, you'll like it here. Because one thing I noticed is by me exploring and seeing different areas and just getting out, trust me, you will like it here. I mean, it's a really nice city. It really is. And um, it's just a really nice city. My, every time I go out and just I put my GPS on, I will take the longest route there on GPS so they won't put me on the highway. And it'll this is how I'm learning the area you know what I'm saying and sometimes I need to use my GPS and then sometimes I don't it just depends but um Greenville is a really nice place it really really is um some areas I've been to I will never go back <laughs> but 
I mean, I have no need to, but then there's some areas that's just absolutely breathtaking. And what I love, wait, you see that right there? Girl, where am I going? And what I do, do appreciate about the area that I live in, it's like, I'm within the city, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm within the city. So, I can get downtown in a matter of anywhere from five to eight minutes. I'm literally five to ten minutes. We'll just say ten minutes, but I get there quicker than that. So, it's really spoiling me, to be honest. It's really spoiling me. The fact that I live so close to downtown and everything is around me. When I lived, when I was in Miami, it took me a while to get downtown. You get what I'm saying? Like, it took me a while. I stayed deep down south. I was about, with good traffic, with good traffic, I was about, um, hmm, about 35 to 40 minutes away from downtown. Whereas here, and that's with good traffic, whereas here, I'm only, like I say, anywhere from five to ten minutes not even ten to be honest because i just went downtown to go to the coffee shop and i got there i got there in like six seven minutes or so so pretty but it's broke it's only 9.99 but it's chipped but it's so pretty I just coming out of TJ Maxx. I swear y'all, I have been in that store at least an hour. At least an hour. Girl, TJ Maxx, if you don't have no discipline, don't go on TJ Maxx. I'm telling you that right now. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't oh do God. it. Yes. Y'all. Don't go on TJ Maxx. If you don't have no self-control, baby. Because I promise you. Okay, my budget was $50 today in TJ Maxx. And that was to cover um, a pot, which I knew for a fact I could get $20 or less. And I found one on clearance, a pot that I needed for $20. So, I'm good there. And then, I wanted to get a comforter. Or, if not a comforter a like what are these things called because i knew that tj max sold these so it's a blanket it says gauze blanket 
and I knew that they had these, so I knew nine out of ten this would be what I would get because with my budget, I knew off the, I knew off real with my budget, I, I nine out of ten wasn't gonna find a comforter that I like. The comforters that I be liking, girl, it'd be a hundred plus. So. I end up finding, um, and I think it's made in, where else is it made at? It's a Oco Tex. This is what it looks like. And it's like this really pretty light gray color. So, the outside is like a, I don't know what this material is, but it's really, really soft. And then, in the inside, it's like a like a little furry type feel, like a little furry type feel, which is perfect because it get cold, it get cold in my apartment, real real cold. Like last night, I had that, I had it on seventy five, and it felt like it was sixty. It was cold, so I got that. Okay, I got that. I got me another one of these because the court took over mine it's like i don't know where his is he probably left it knowing him but i got me one of these and i'm gonna let him just have mine so i'm gonna i got that i also got these little molds i thought the kids would love these super cute and these was on clearance for four dollars and i picked up even the cashier, she was like, oh, I'm about to go back there and grab me one on my lunch break. Um, she picked this up right here. She was like, I'm going to go back there and grab one on my lunch break. So, this right here, this little honey, it's so cute. And this is glass. It's so cute. And y'all, I think even when I'm out of this, I'm gonna use this to keep, like, put more honey in it. Cause I thought this was the cutest little thing ever. I don't know what it is with me with like little tiny miniature things. I, I just love it. And, um, I don't have to show y'all the pot. Y'all know what a pot look like. But the highlight of the day, the day to day, the day to day, y'all. And this is gonna be my last fragrance for a while because in the storage I got a whole lot of fragrances <laughs> seriously I do but um I picked this up I picked this up girl this is so good it's called candid cherry it was $14.99 $14.99 can y'all see girl this smells so good Oh my God, it smells, oh, 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 you can't tell me this ain't that Tom Ford cherry. Girl, this smells so good when I tell you. I don't know how long it's going to last on me, but it's, it smells so good and juicy and good and fruity. Oh my God, I love it. I absolutely love it. This smells oh, freaking amazing. This is good, y'all. It smells like a black cherry. That's what it smells like. It smells like black cherry. Similar to that candle by um, Bath and Body Works. Y'all, it smells so good. Oh, my God. So, I picked this up. And speaking of Bath and Body Works, they have their candles on sale. Um, they have their candles on sale. I don't know... If I'm going to make the sale this time around, but they have their candles $10.95. I'm not sure if I'm going to make the candle sale this year. Um, I'm just not sure. So I might have to sit this one out. And then not only that, they have only a select, uh, only a select, a, 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 selection of what they have that's 
So I think I'm gonna have to sit this one out, y'all. This this one because I feel like in the past I always always feel like I have to jump whenever they have their sales and run and get candles and run and get this and run and get that. No, I'm not doing that. I'm trying to reprogram myself. Like just because they don't they have an air angle sale or they this and that sale, that don't mean I have to always run up there and grab them. You get what I'm saying? A few moments later. Hey y'all. So I end up going to um Bath and Body Works, you guys, because I had a uh get ten dollars off. Oh, it's hot. Get ten dollars off when you spend forty. And since the candles, select candles were on sale. I'm like, you know what? That's worth the drive. Let me go over there and see if they have any of the select candles that I like um, for sale. Because, of course, you know, they don't have all the candles for sale, just a select few. Also, they have all their um, body stuff um, on sale. I think these were, what, $3.95? I think I paid... 324 for them. Yeah. 324 with the coupon. So yeah. These are like came up to three dollars twenty-four cents. So got this for the girls. And then I got them this right here. I actually should have got to Koi one, but I wasn't thinking. I'll buy him one later. But I got them this strawberry soda. Cucumber melon, and this is a new one. I've never heard of this one. I got them this one. So that's what I got as for well body care. I didn't get any spray because they got so much spray. I gave them a bunch of spray a while ago, and they still have it. You know that spray it lasts forever. So that's why I really don't buy it like that because it lasts so long. So anyway, the candle that I ended up getting was. I guess they had a collection with other people. Like they got the Asian collection and then this right here. I've never seen this one. But this one smells so nice. Oh, I love the smell of this. It's really soft, but it smells really nice. It has sandalwood notes in it. Does it say? Okay, creamy sandalwood, sage soft lavender with natural essential oils it smells really good y'all this candle smells amazing oh my god it smells real real good and then i got um just an old one coconut pina colada it smells really good mm. this one here smells real real good i bought this one a few times before and then I bought this one. I've never seen this one, but y'all already know I'm in love with strawberries and cherries right now. So anytime I see cherries or any type of fruit, and this one smells really good. This one smells, I'm curious to know how it burns, but this one smells really nice. I think I got all sweet this time. And then one of my favorites, ma mahogany vanilla, mahogany coconut. I love anything mahogany, to be honest. This smells amazing. And I love the packaging. It's so pretty. I love that blue. So, mm, these are all the candles yeah. that I purchased. Hey, turn me up. Turn me up, Pete. Uh -huh. Corners in the panic in my piece. Push your feet. Cop no drama for my beat. We don't want no peace. Got shit out of the cost. Back the Drop the pad and now we clap inside the piece. She not a lesbian for peace, she turned lesbian for a spirit. For she peace. I'm capital P, I write the president, I'm president. For she peace. Portuguese on her knees, my banana peas. She let me squeeze if she need, cause she keeps the peace. Private feet, private feet, bitch, I'm pushing peace.
I found on Amazon. So this right here is supposed to um, hold your TVs on the wall without doing it the traditional way with the, the studs and all that stuff in the wall. So I purchased two, but I'm going to try one on my small TV in the room first before I open up the second one. So it's supposed to be easy enough for me to do myself according to the reviews. So I'm, I'll probably do this tomorrow and I'll let y'all know how it went. Thank mm -hmm. you.